everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's a breakfast recipe today and a very healthy one at that. This is what I call Badami Paneer Kebabs. So let's check out what the ingredients are. I have taken an equal quantity of paneer and equal quantity of almonds. This is what will make it badami. I have taken here two big onions and chopped into very thin pieces there. I'll need some coriander according to your taste, some milk for the binding, some breadcrumbs for the coating, some chilies, green chilies according to your taste, some mint leaves. I do not have mint leaves so I have this option there. This is a mint powder. You may have it in your house and can use it anytime. You do not have mint leaves. I will need around three slices of bread and some ghee and of course for the entire cooking I will need some vegetable oil I have used here canola oil you may choose any oil of your choice now let's start cooking now if you have time you can always blanch this that is you soak that in warm water and remove the peel but I always like the almond with the peel on because it's more you know it gives you a lot of fiber in your diet and I'm using it. I don't have time as usual. I'm using this as it is. And I'm also adding in the paneer. The whole thing goes in. The paneer also goes in. And what I'm doing is there's just some, uh, you know, green chilies. And in place of water, I'm going to use some milk. And now I'm going to give it a nice mix in the mixy. Now this is the mixture that we have, see, very smooth, this is what I want, you may leave it crumbly but I like it smoother, so I am putting in the onion, you can see I am using a lot of onion, this will give the crunch to my dish and I have just taken out the sides of the bread, I am just putting in this, uh, you know, the smoother part there, so that we have a homogeneous sort of mixture and the other thing that is the, this is the coriander leaves. And of course, once everything is in, you need to put in something that you will always have to be careful about, the salt. Now, one more thing you can add in, as I said, you may add in some mint leaves and I'm adding in some mint powder. I don't have the mint leaves now, so, but of course, fresh is always better. Now, all I need to do is that mix in and if you are not very sure about the, you know, uh, you, the spoon there, you know, really use your very, very clean hands to make a nice dough out of it. So this is the mixture that I have on the next thing. It's very easy. Make them or give them the shape of the kebab. Take some portions in your hand. Make around there. Okay, you may have to wash your hands every time in water and just flatten them off. And then the next thing you need to do just take some breadcrumb and then coat it in the breadcrumb. Coat it like this and then keep it ready to be uh, fried. Together we can fry it. So I'll do this for the entire stuff. Okay, now heat a pan and just throw in some oil there. Uh, say around two tablespoons of oil in a non-stick pan. So these are the ones ready now, the kebabs, and now I need to fry them up. Right, the pan is heated up. I just reduce the flame and I'm just throwing in all of them slowly and gently. Work gently on them. They are very soft. And this way, do it on medium to low heat. Try and put all of them as many as you can. And if it's a non-stick, they are just going to fry it, but they are not going to soak in the oil. So after just a minute or so, I am just slightly going to turn them over. For the beautiful golden color on the other side. So be careful, not more than this. This is the amount that you want the burn on that organ. In fact, the beautiful glaze for the crunch there. So this is how it looks. And we are going to repeat this for all of them. Now when this is almost done and crisp on both the sides, we are just going to introduce some amount of ghee. 
Alright, just a little. Now you should, I mean, you should have fried them in the ghee. But I'm just trying to be a little more healthy. And therefore, I just want the flavor of ghee on my uh, kebabs. So I'm doing it this way. Those who really want only the ghee, you may replace the oil with the ghee. But this also will give that touch of the ghee on your kebabs. Repeat this for the entire stuff and you can now plate them. Now let's plate them. I have used here some green, uh, some chili and onion chutney there. You may use anything of your choice. And now let us just take them and just make them like, look very beautiful because the presentation is so, so important. And there goes my, okay, these are the ones there. All right. Now you stack them and they are done. Ready and yummy and something that will really tempt all your family members to have a very healthy breakfast or a snack recipe. I hope you like this particular recipe of mine. I hope you'll give it a like and a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching.